Hi you guys, welcome back. And today's video is going to be my budget beauty buys video. Okay? So yes, I am finally back and I have some budget buys for you guys, okay? So, I have three items. And um, the first item is going to be da -da -da -da, a nail polish. So, let me just tell you guys, this nail polish is the brand Color Club. Now, where I live, I cannot find this. Like, th this brand is not sold in my local Ulta or my local Sally's. It's not, so, like, I don't know. Like, the only place I can, I actually see these are in nail salons. And I remember I was getting my nails done, like, last summer. And I found this color in the salon and had it put on my nails and it was so pretty. It was like in, in the sunlight, it was this gorgeous bright fluorescent green. It was so gorgeous. And as I stated before in a video, I love bright, fun, playful colors, especially in the summertime. I love to mix it up. I don't like wearing the same color over and over and over again. So. Um, I fell in love with this color and I couldn't find it in any stores near me and so I finally tracked it down online but online like this nail polish I think let me see let me pull out my iPad here this nail polish brand usually retails I think for like eight dollars and some odd cent um, like online like at the, um, if you go to like color club it's about eight dollars this spring I thought about it again this nail polish just kind of popped up in my head all over again and so I was like let me see if I can track it down and so I went and googled and I did track it down and I found it on this website called beyond polish and uh, yeah beyondpolish.com and I found this polish this polish is color club in the shade feeling groovy I found this polish and this polish was four dollars now I just told you it usually this brand usually retails for about eight dollars and some change I found this for half the price and then of course I had to pay for shipping and handling so this polish to get this polish it cost me seven dollars and two cents all together I could not find this polish anywhere else I found it on beyondpolish.com and it costed me the um, actual polish was four dollars and then the shipping and handling was three dollars and two cents this polish came right the heck on very satisfied as a matter of fact i'm wearing this polish color on my toenails right now <laughs> so anyways you guys if you are looking for some nail polish or let me see i'm looking at the website right now this is what it looks like they of course have nail polish nail lacquer, gel polish, nail treatment, spa lotion and wax, nail tools, cosmetics, beauty kits, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And you can also pre-order. So I guess if there's something that's coming out that's going to, that hasn't really been released yet, but it's supposed to be releasing soon, I guess you could come on here and if they are going to be selling it, you can reorder it. You can pre-order it. I'm sorry. You can pre-order it so that way when it does come out yours can go ahead and be shipped to you honey okay or maybe you can pre-order i don't know if you would prepay because i've never done that before but maybe when it releases you pay or what I, I don't really know i don't know but all i know is you can pre-order okay and i'm assuming if they have nails tool yeah i'm assuming if they have nail tools they probably have nail art tools as well and they do they have nail art tools for like two dollars and some brushes and stuff like that brushes aren't exactly two dollars but like the nail art tools are and they have like some dotting tools like in a kit well not a kit but it's like four a four piece dotting tool set for like 450 and like some nippers and stuff. I'm not really sure what those are. But anyways, if you're like into nails and stuff like that, or if you have like if you, if your nail tech, or if you're just into doing your own nails, you can come on here and find some stuff for some pretty decent prices, you guys. So that is beyondpolish.com. Be sure to check them out. 
Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right, so moving on to the next set of products that I have here. Um, these are some beauty products. These are cosmetics. I'm super duper excited to share them with you. Okay. So, I have two items here, and these are from City Color. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the brand before. I've heard of it like um, on some YouTube channels, like some YouTubers using the brand, but I had never heard anything, like I had never heard any really big hype about it. I've probably only seen like two YouTubers that I watch use them, but use the brand. But um, that's about it. I didn't know anything else about it. I just thought it was probably like a small cosmetic company that you probably just get online or something. I really didn't know anything about it. But um, here are the two items. This is a contour palette. It's called Contour Effect. And it's a contour palette. And then this is a matte blush. So I haven't even opened these. I haven't even used them. I just saw them and saw them for the price and scooped them up. So um, I'll be breaking them open to swatch them for you here today. And so now, like on my last budget beauty buy video I don't really give a review because I haven't really used the items yet but I'll just kind of like give you a little bit of information on them and how much they were give you my personal opinion what I think about them, and whether or not I think they're worth the money you know the, the little bit of money that you're gonna pay for them, whether I even think it's worth that in your time I got these two products out of my local five below I had never heard of a five below before, never even seen a five below. And it just popped up in my area like a couple months ago. And I just happened to be driving by and I was like, five below, what is that? And I saw that they had like these little crates outside with some little crap in it. <laughs> they looked like it was like for the season. And so I was like, well, I wonder is this like a little seasonal store, kind of like the Christmas tree store, or is it the Christmas store, Christmas tree shop, Christmas tree store, something. But anyways, the Christmas tree store, whatever the freak the store is called, you know what? I'll put it right here. This store, it's like a seasonal store. It, it, I know that it, the name of it sounds like it's like a holiday store, but it's seasonal. It's open year round and you know, during the seasons they sell like seasonal items. So like during the summertime they sell summer items. So they sell like blow up swimming pools, bathing suits, you know, sandals, beachy, beach stuff, outdoor stuff, stuff that you would be using during the summertime. I am assuming that is what Five Below is. I'm assuming it's a seasonal store. So when I went in Five Below, they had all of this seasonal stuff. They had all this stuff for the summertime. And this is the beauty part about it, you guys. Everything was $5 and below. Now, I know some of y'all are probably like, duh, the store called Five Below. Yeah, but I didn't know that because I did. I had never seen a Five Below before, never even heard of it. So everything in there was $5 or below $5. So $5 or less. So I was like flabbergasted. I think I saw a sign in there that said everything is $5 and below. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like an idiot saying it out loud now that I didn't know that the Five Below store meant that everything in there cost five dollars or less. But I didn't know. I never heard of it, you guys. I didn't know. But I know now. So I was just perusing and found that they had a makeup section. I'll tell you the truth. I just remember these. I just remember the contour palettes and the blushes. So um, the blushes were three dollars. Three, three dollars. One of those trays. And then the contour palette was five dollars. So I'm going to open it up for you so that you can see what it looks like. And hopefully my camera, hopefully you'll be able to see the color pretty good. Like I said, these still have the plastic on it. I have not used them. Because I'm, I kind of already am working with a contour color. I'm already, I'm already, I already have two contour colors that I've been working with. I really am, am not ready to bust this open yet. I, those are the colors. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a contour color that will be used the most out of this palette. Uh, this highlight probably ain't gonna get used. I will have to swatch it to see if it's gonna give off like that ashy cast to my skin type 
or if it's going to be like a, a you know one of those translucent type well not translucent I don't know this probably ain't gonna work for you know dark skin loveless like myself but you know you never know you just have to try it out trial and error trial and error so that's just that and I did look this brand up online there there is a city colors website and um, I let me see I'm gonna actually pull it up while I'm sitting here talking to you guys so that I can be pretty accurate with what I'm going to say but I do know that they have another um, palette. I guess this, this one is probably the first one, so this one's old. But they have a Contour Face 2 palette. And um, I'm not sure how much they run, run you for on the website. I'm about to look right now. I'm going to put my arm down because my arm is hurting from holding it up like that. Yeah, I'm a little weenie. My arm gets tired. But yes, so here it is. And probably what I'll do is I will probably, that's the two, that's the second one. And it does retail for $13.99 on the City Color Cosmetics website. What I'll do is I'll probably link the website down below. But, just in case you guys don't really want to pay $13.99 for the um, Contour Effects 2 palette, you can find, you can look it up and see if there is a 5 below somewhere near you and you can go get this one for $5, okay? But, if you don't have a 5 below near you and if you are willing to pay $13.99, for this palette, you can definitely go on citycolorcosmetics.com and look it up. They have a lot of stuff, you guys. They have um, contour and correct cream palettes. They have like a brush. They have some highlighting um, products and some more blushes. And they have uh, eyeshadows and lipsticks. So that they they actually have a whole lot of stuff. They carry uh, false lashes. I, the, like the whole nine. This is just, they only like sell, and I mean of course they're only going to carry a certain little amount of select little things in a expensive, an inexpensive store like Five Below. So, and then I got a blush, which is still in the packaging. I'm going to open the packaging if I can get it open. But this blush is in the shade Dragon Fruit, you guys, and it's just like a very vibrant pink and I just figured hey I'll try that why not is it going to hurt near anybody else to try this blush out for three dollars no not really so finally got the pla plastic off of it and I'm going to open it up because I'm pretty sure I probably blinded you guys with the glare and here it is let's see if I can get it to Look at this. This is ridiculous. I got to turn the thing all the way upside down so you can at least attempt to see the true color of this blush. I don't know. This is a little ridiculous. But this is in the shade Dragon Fruit. And I shall swash it. Here it is. Large is on my hand. Yes, my hands are a bit ashy. Yes, and that is that. That looks, um, you probably can't really tell. It looks a little powdery. Um, I don't know that that will work so well for me. It looks a little powdery. I ain't trying to put a blush on my face and then it be looking all ashy and powdery and crazy. And, mm -mm. I ain't walking around here looking dang near like Michael Jackson. Mm -mm. Not Michael Jackson. Have me walking around here looking like Bozo's sister. Boziqua. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Okay. But they had like several other colors, so they had some more toned down colors. I don't know why the heck, I don't know why the hell I picked this. This is bright and crazy as crap, but it could be worked out, I'm sure. But yes, it did seem a bit powdery. I don't know. I've seen uh, a video on some, with somebody talking about these blushes being good, but I don't know. But I just figured I would share these little gems with you because I found them and they were this was five dollars and this was three dollars so what the heck why not so 
that is all that I have to share with you guys today as far as my but my budget beauty buys anyways these are some beauty products that I found that were fairly inexpensive so if you guys have a five below by you you should definitely go in and just peruse and browse around and see what they have maybe they'll have these items maybe not and if they don't if you're just really intrigued by city colors then definitely do your research you know go look at YouTube videos go um, Google them and look at reviews you can go on their website and look at reviews let me tell you one thing I will honestly say I don't always like to go to the website to look at reviews because I don't feel like they're always going to be honest or I feel like if they are honest you know they have probably gone and deleted some they probably went through and didn't allow the negative reviews to post now sometimes you'll see some negative reviews on some websites and sometimes you don't so I just like to do my all-around research I like to you know just Google and just read everything that I can find on the product before I purchase it because I don't like buying some stuff and then get home and it's a piece of crap and then you look it up on the web and you see a whole bunch of people just saying nothing but bad stuff about it. So, I like to do my research. And of course, no matter what anybody else says, I'm going to do whatever it is I feel I want to do or I need to do for myself. So, if all I see is bad reviews, but I'm just really, really intrigued by it and just feel like I'm going to get a different result, then I will just go out and buy it. But I don't really like to do that because they could all be telling the truth and then I could go out and buy it and really do a piece of crap. But all I'm saying is, you know, use, use reviews as a guideline. You don't have to let them be, you know, you don't have to let them run your life. But you definitely can use reviews as a guideline to whether or not you really want to invest in a product. It doesn't necessarily mean that the review is the total 100% gospel, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a lie either. So I would say, you know, just, you know, make your best judgment. It's there to help you. Reviews are there to help Close. Excuse me, my nose is itching right there. I like to, you know, tap it so I don't look, so I don't look like I'm, you know, big and for gold. 